Hey guys, welcome back to another video in my Minecraft Redstone 1.18 for beginners series. And today we're going to be looking at double piston extenders. And I know what you're thinking. What is a double piston extender? Well, a double piston extender is exactly what it sounds like. It's two pistons, both extending. So what we're going to do is I'll show you what we're thinking. We're going to, have to make this happen. Now, normally, this doesn't really work. In fact, it really doesn't work. Look at that. That's no good. So what we're going to do is try and make this work a bit better. Now, the first, I'm going to show you two methods. And the first one is uh, one that I learned from the legend that is Mumbo Jumbo. And this one is called the 240 uh, Piston Extender. Now, what it is, it is... You've got two ticks on this one, four ticks on here, and then zero on here. And I'm going to show you how this works because it's important for how the double piston extender works. Now, what it's doing, when it's extending, the signal goes here, then to this one, then to this one. Because there's a delay of two ticks on here and four ticks on here, so and no ticks on here. So this one gets a signal first, then this one, then this one. So when it's extending, this one extends, then that one extends. And you can see that when I do it. Okay, so the the one on the left extends, then the middle one extends. So that's how it works when it's extending. Now, when it's coming back, again, this one's getting the signal, then this one, and then here. So if I break them slowly so you can see what happens, we're breaking the signal on this one, which retracts this back in. Then we're breaking the signal on this one, which retracts this back. And then we're doing this one, which brings the whole thing back in. But obviously, we're doing it very, very quickly. I just love really complicated piston systems. So, I know what you're thinking. How can I make it too tall? Well, you can. There are a few different ways of doing this. Um, so, I'm going to show you what would be logical to do next, which is to put blocks on this side, and then you could uh, do exactly the same thing that you just did on the other side and bring it around here like this so let's do we'll do the reverse so we're going to go two four and then zero and then we'll bring our signal around here to here so in theory that should make both of them go and both of them come back well that's great but it's quite big it's got quite a big footprint there so <laughs> let's go for a simpler way of doing this and see if we can make this a little bit smaller to just make it a bit more user friendly. I know I've made a hole there. Right, so we've got an observer here. So if we put our observer facing into there, so it's sending the signal down, okay? So you, what you always need to know about observers is the arrow points where it's gonna send the signal, not where it's observing, where it's gonna send the signal. Now we're gonna put a two tick repeater on top of that and then redstone on either side. Now, that's really simple, and it works really well. Now, you might remember that we once made a hopper clock that would make a signal go on and off. Now, the great thing about a hopper clock is you can change how quickly it does it. So if you were making, say, something to interfere with a parkour course and you wanted this to extend and retract at a certain time, you can make a hopper clock to activate this, which would be amazing. And the other great thing about this is it can be duplicated. So we can make this even bigger, like so. And you can do this as far along as you want. So all we're going to do is exactly what we did on the first one. And then we'll put a, a signal coming into the side of this block. And there we go. It's as simple as that. I love these things. They're great. Right, so that's a double piston extender and how it works. Let's go check it out in the real world. So as you can see, I have made a structure. I've made a structure over here and no one would be able to tell it's anything other than a normal wall. 
yeah, it's got a little alcove, but it doesn't look anything out of the ordinary. But when we come down here, there's a secret switch behind this tree. And if we toggle that, it leads down into our wonderful secret base. Uh, okay, I didn't actually make the whole base down here, but I made a little staircase, so I think I should get some uh, props for that. But that's how you can turn it into a secret little base door. And uh, all this is, is exactly the same circuit I've used over there, but I've just extended it out a bit. I know it looks a bit more complicated here, that's because I've made some of the bits out of uh, stone instead of using wool because, well, sometimes you have to. It's not always possible to use wool. Um, but basically, it's just a double piston extender on either side. And then in front of that, we've got a single piston extender as well. And a single piston extender is really simple to double up. So all you're going to do to make that work in this circuit is just connect one of these up and that will be your single piston extender that you can put in front of your double one really easy to hook that up in fact let's go show you over on here how i've done that so all i've done say this is my double one i've just put a single one in front of that and it goes flush as well so it'll all go level but then all you do is run a signal off the back of here from these guys up here. Like that. And then when you flick your switch, it's going to extend that one and extend that one, which just means you can have a four wide door that closes like that. It's really simple to do and it makes really, really effective doors. I love a piston door and when you start adding in things like uh, them coming from the top and coming from the bottom you could make really big piston doors now you may remember that in our last video we looked at uh, hidden crafting tables so I want to show you how the double piston extender can work with this so you've probably realized that when I made the original hidden crafting table video this piece of redstone not really needed so uh, the reason it's there is because you can make it into a double piston extender and then your crafting table will actually come out of the wall like this which is pretty cool right so it means that your table can actually come all the way out and all you do in order to do that from the redstone that we set up before is add a piece of redstone here a, a repeater here and a piston here and then all you're going to do is do that two four zero pattern that we did before so two ticks four ticks zero ticks and that will turn this whole circuit into a double piston extender and then you've got a crafting table that comes all the way out of the wall which is very cool i hope you've enjoyed this video i really love making piston doors in fact next episode we're going to be looking at flying machines definitely tune in for that one add a subscribe if you haven't already and you're enjoying the video and as always leave me a big thumbs up if you've liked it and uh, yeah let me know in the comments what do you think of double piston extenders simpler than you thought aren't they all redstone is simpler than you thought well maybe not all redstone but lots of redstone is simpler than you thought so check out the uh, next video to see more tips on how you can make simple redstone circuits. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.